Well, Jack Hathaway, thank you so much for taking the time to connect with me this morning. First, congratulations on your selection to be a NASA astronaut candidate. We know you had to hold the secret in for a few weeks. So what's the last 24 hours been like? Oh, man, uh, the last 24 hours has been uh, just an incredible, really incredible experience, both for me and my family and for the all 10 astronaut candidates that have come out here. Uh, it's been just a great opportunity to, to share uh, with the public and with all our friends and family. Uh, uh, just honor it is to become a NASA astronaut candidate. So what were you doing when you got that call? Where were you, your first reactions? When I first got the call, uh, offered me a job to come down here as a NASA astronaut candidate. It wasn't actually a phone call. I missed the phone call. Uh, I was out at sea. Uh, I'm a Navy pilot, so I was uh, out at sea on an aircraft carrier uh, doing an exercise with my squadron. Uh, and uh, they were calling. Uh, I gave them the phone number for, uh, for the ready room on the ship where all the pilots kind of hang out. Uh, it's kind of like a group phone number. And it's we don't often get, like, there's limited bandwidth on the ship. Uh, so it was a Friday night uh, when I sat down when I found out about this and I was like, all right, it's six, seven, I might've been eight o'clock at night. And I was like, the work week's over. I haven't got the call this week. That's fine. I can just drop the pack. Uh, I got the weekend to relax. So I missed the phone call and I, uh, I just logged on on the computer to see if I, I had gotten any emails from my wife, what was going on. And in my email was uh, a note from the chief astronaut that said, Jack, you're not answering your phone. Please call us back. And I was like, ah, just the adrenaline rush into my head. It was just an absolutely like, I was like, ah, I don't know if I dropped the computer or threw it off to the side, but I, I ran up uh, to the duty desk uh, and uh, I tried to get an outside line and it wasn't working for the first couple minutes. Uh, like I said, it's the aircraft carrier. Sometimes our connectivity is limited. Uh, but finally I got through. Uh, and as soon as I got through and he picked up the phone, he said, hold on. Uh, Cause he, it's Friday night in Texas, right? And so everyone's at the high school football game and they were all screaming and it was so loud and he couldn't hear me. And so he, it takes him several minutes to walk out of the stadium. Uh, I'm on the aircraft carrier right below the flight deck. It's in the middle of a landing cycle. So aircraft are crashing down, catching the arresting cable. So I can't hear him and then he can't hear me. Oh man. Uh, and finally he got it out. Finally I could hear him. And he said, Jack, we'd, we'd love you to come down and be part of the 2021 NASA astronaut candidate class. And I was like, yes, sign me up. And I was like, yes. Uh, and it was, it was really a great experience too. Like I would have loved to have been with my, uh, my wife and my kids at the time. Uh, but the Navy, the squadrons have always been, uh, like second family to me. So I was out there with my brothers and sisters in VFA 81 uh, and they were all right around me when I found out and they're high fives and hugs. They're all very excited for me. And uh, just, just, just really a wonderful experience. What made you want to be an astronaut? What got you first interested in STEM? Uh, I, I've always been passionate about flying. Uh, I've actually wanted to be an astronaut since I was a little kid. Uh, but maybe even before being an astronaut, I've always wanted to be a pilot. So uh, I got started flying when I was relatively young got a couple flight lessons when I was a kid. And then as a teenager, I kept flying. Uh, I was like, this is what I want to do with my life. Started to learn more about aviation and the type of aviation I wanted to do. And I was like, the Navy is for me. I want to be a Navy jet pilot. I want to land and fly off aircraft carriers. Uh, I want to do all those things. Uh, I want to be a Naval test pilot, the opportunity to, to fly all sorts of different types of aircraft. Uh, uh, and I just, I love flying. I love the I love the excitement of being up in the sky. I love the challenge of flying an aircraft and operating it to precise parameters in a complex environment. Uh, and, and so for me, it's, it's just been always a part of me, part of my level of excitement uh, to do something like this. Uh, and the honor to be a to do it as a NASA astronaut candidate uh, and participate in all the things that NASA is doing right now is just such a great opportunity. Absolutely. If you had to pick a capsule to board right now, do you have a a preference would you want to go back to the shuttle or are we look at orion or uh, dragon oh i uh, uh can i pick the eagle i mean i don't i don't know i would <laughs> uh, any any spacecraft that i could fly i want to fly all of them i love to fly different types of aircraft i like to see how they're different uh all the different control laws all the different like ways that the aircraft or the spacecraft operate uh that's just it's such a neat thing to me to compare and contrast uh, and different things are designed for different purposes, right? Like, so one capsule does one thing really well. Another capsule does another thing really well. Uh, so 
if they give me the opportunity to fly on a spacecraft of any type, my answer is yes. And how soon can I go? Yeah, I, 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 any of these missions, any of these capsules, be super honored to fly any of them. So what, who are your heroes or who inspired you along your path and kind of influenced your journey? I guess I've had a lot of a lot of inspiration uh, over the years. Like I had school teachers uh, that you know uh, kind of channeled my energy. You know, I, I, I'm a high energy guy, uh, and they're like, "Hey, uh, you know, keep your hands busy. Do these tangrams. Do this math worksheet." You know, uh, that you know the, the high school and the elementary school teachers that were able to like see that in you and take that and 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 mold it into something that's useful to society and, and useful to me as I go through. Uh, that's wonderful. Like, uh, as I go through high school and college, I, I had all sorts of teachers and professors that were just absolutely wonderful to me. Uh, and, and in the Navy, like everywhere I go, you know, I've got a skipper, I've got a training officer, I've got senior pilots in the air wing and the squadron. Uh, it's, it's been a true blessing uh, for me that every step along the way, I've had people that are like, hey, this is what you can do. This is how you can help yourself out. Uh, let me help you out with this. Let me let me help you do this thing. Uh, so it just, uh, I got so many people every step of the way. People have been pulling me and yanking me and, and telling me and helping me out. And it was just so, it's been such a wonderful, wonderful opportunity the whole way through. That's awesome. It's so important to have those people that do recognize those skills and try to help shape them. You've obviously had a lot of training and simulations before. Uh, with the Navy, looking forward to now the astronaut training. Is there a part you're most looking forward to or maybe a part that you see maybe a little bit more daunting? Uh, I got two parts that I'm really excited about. The The first part is uh, T-38 training. Uh, one, of, one of the best things that I have ever done in my life is to take people flying in a jet aircraft that have never been flying. I mean, even in a, even in a small civilian like uh, Cessna or Piper, small single engine aircraft, when you take people flying for the first time and they see what it's like and you see the awe on their face and the wonders, they look out the window and look around and just feel that it's different. Uh, I love sharing that with people and the opportunity to go flying with my fellow NASA astronaut candidates uh, in the T-38 and other astronauts. And I just, I'm so excited. Uh, first, how to learn the T-38 because I've only flown it once uh, while I was a test pilot. Uh, so learning that aircraft is going to be absolutely incredible. I know they've got uh, just awesome instructors uh, over at Ellington Field uh, to help us there. And then to take go flying with my astronaut candidate uh, colleagues would be awesome. Uh, very excited about that part of the training. Uh, the other one is uh, space spacewalking, doing the uh, getting into the neutral buoyancy lab. You know, we put on the on the spacesuit and they drop us in the water, drop us in the water. They lower us gently into the water uh, to practice. <laughs> yeah. On, uh, on the space station rig that's uh, in the pool there. Uh, that's something completely new. Like, what's it gonna be like to feel that helmet come down and lock into place? You're in this giant space suit with some limited mobility and you're trying to figure out how, cause everything's just a little bit different. It's not like in the wood shop back home where you're just using a screwdriver, right? Everything is a little bit different. Uh, so, and you can't know something like that, you can't really be prepared. You just got to, the first time is the first time. Uh, so uh, that it's a little bit daunting, but I, I'm excited by challenges. And I'm excited by that opportunity. So I, I really, I really can't wait. So as you begin this journey of what many of us are calling kind of the next generation of astronauts, the Artemis generation, uh, if all goes well, the generation following are going to be hopefully living and working on the moon and maybe even Mars. Uh, what encouragement or message would you send off to them uh, as they maybe start dreaming of looking towards that? The message I'd send out to kids uh, and young people that are thinking about uh, this type of career uh, is just find something that you love. Uh, I don't know if you've had the opportunity to look through all the bios of the astronaut candidates this year in all previous classes, but we're from all different walks of life. There's scientists, there's teachers, there's pilots. We got a track cyclist. We, you know, we have everything in NASA because NASA is about diversity and everyone coming from different walks of life trying to solve problems. But the thing that we all have in common is that we've all found something that we've loved and we've worked hard at it. For me, that's been flying jets in the Navy. For other people, it's all sorts of different things. If you find something that you love and you work hard at it, great things are going to happen. Maybe you'll have a great career uh, in that field. Maybe you'll become a NASA astronaut candidate. 
but great things will happen. So that that's my encouragement. Find something you love, work hard, and just see the magic happen. Absolutely. A couple rapid questions. Favorite food that you'd have to take with you to space? Hot chocolate. Fair. Favorite season <laughs> of the year? Uh, I love the fall. the fall. And if you were to have the honor of naming your spaceship capsule, any name ideas or maybe what your zero G indicator would be? Hmm. Uh, I would always name it after my wife because she's the most special person in the world to me. So we know that uh, we're hopeful to see you strap into a, a capsule in the future once you complete your training. Uh, if you could send a quick message to yourself sitting on that pad, the countdown's going, what would you want to say to your future self? What would I want to say to my future self uh, sitting on a capsule? I'm going to take half a second here and think about that. Uh, I guess I'd say take a deep breath. Enjoy it. Look around. Uh, I'm a procedures guy. Like when I'm in the jet getting ready to take a catapult, weather's bad. It's dark. It's night. I'm going uh, going into doing a mission or whatever. Uh, I'm like, do the procedures, do the checklist, go one by one by one. And that's my focus to get through those stressful, highly dynamic situations. Uh, so I think uh, knowing that that's what I'll be like, cause I, that's exactly what I'll be thinking is what switches next. When's the next thing to do? I want to tell myself, take a deep breath look around, soak it in, because it's, it's just going to be an incredible experience that you don't want to like just miss the awesomeness of it. Well, thank you so much, Jack, for taking this time. We wish you all the best in your training, and hopefully we can connect with you again maybe along your training or when you complete it and get that mission selection. But we wish you the best. All right. Thanks a lot. It's been great chatting with you about Nats and all the great things going on. Thanks so much, Jack. Good luck. Have a good day.